Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing magic. The fun thing that we are doing today is we are playing the Sealed Guilds of Ravnica because uh, it just came out on Arena and um, I am super excited for this. I did get a ton of packs here that we'll be opening up in another video uh, but I wanted to go ahead and get started off with the Sealed portion because Sealed is my favorite format. Um, Probably altogether. I just really, really enjoy Sealed a lot. Um, although I'm interested to see how it works on Arena. So let's go ahead and get into this. Yep, let's jump right in. And let's open up our packs. Let's see what we got here. Alright, these are all the rares. So got some decent stuff. Ooh, Aurelia, I love. That is a fantastic card. And really, uh, I, I'm still getting used to these new ones. I don't have them memorized like I typically do. I um, was busy having um, a child this week, so or my wife was. And so uh, that's why we're a little bit behind on, on these ones. But let's see what we've got here. So white is looking fairly strong. I like the curve there, at least. Um, not bad. Decent stuff. Let's go back to the blue here. All right. Still getting used to a lot of these cards here. Um, nothing fancy, fancy. I like Dream Eater, but it's not. I don't think it's as great in this format. Uh, let's see here, black. Right now, I'm, I'm kind of feeling Boros is going to be where, the way we go. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. I love this look here. Let's let's get into this. All right, so we're in black. All right, here we go. Not bad. All right, so I'm thinking what we're gonna do. I'm, I am liking the Boros, like I with Mentor there. That actually I think is gonna be pretty powerful. Got some haste. We got a, quite a bit of early game uh, aggression. Let's see with green what we've got here. Nothing. I mean nothing t too great. I return up to three target multicolored cards from your graveyard. That's pretty fun. Um, did we get a signet? So only two of the Demir lockets, which can help there. Um, Demir Spy Bug can be pretty powerful. I feel like it's a good way to go if you have multiples of them. Um, and then you can just keep surveilling. I, I'm not sure. This guy's pretty good for that. All right. So invert. So switch the power and toughness of each of up to two target creatures until end of turn. So that actually could be pretty good just as a red splash. I mean, we won't be able to play the invent side of it, but maybe. Um, we do have the Is It Locket that would work well if we went blue, white, and and red. Okay, integrity. It's so I'm going to read through these because I'm not sure if you guys have seen all these, but I'm still getting a little bit used to them. So target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. Does three damage to any creature. Okay, that's not bad. So some removal is good. We're going to go ahead and throw in some of this Boros stuff that we know we want. So yeah, Boros Challenger for sure. Um, our turn has first strike. Fantastic. Aurelia, yes. Uh, yeah, this is looking like a fantastic Boros, which is my style of play anyway. We do have the gate as well, so we'll throw that in there. Um, yeah, double strike as long as we have gates. So let's grab up our gates, especially if we do go... Uh, I know that going green is typically better. I didn't love what we had in green. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we do there. Um, let's see, that's not too bad either if we end up having quite a few gates. Let's see what's in green-white. Um, that's not bad, not fantastic yet. So, <laughs> I like Flourish, and Flower is fantastic as well. We might we might go for the Flower anyway. We can go for Basic Plains or Forest, that's just a good turn one. So we'll go ahead and throw it in. Um, let's see here. We had Aurelia. Okay, Aurelia I think is just amazing. It's a it's a four or five flying with mentor and vigilance and trample. Like at least on our turn, but still that is so so good. Alright, let's let's go ahead and check out. Let's just throw in all the stuff we know we want for sure. So um an escapable blaze, what can't be countered, deals six damage to any target. That's actually a pretty good finisher. We'll throw it in, we'll see if we make uh, room for it. Uh, I'm not sure if I like the direct current. Maybe he has some removal. We'll we'll throw it in. I'm liking this guy. Um, so we can give haste to our Rulia if we need to uh, to swing in for the win. Um, we might bring this guy in if we go into some blue. I'm not sure if we are actually going to bring in many um, instant sorcerers. I, I'm going to go ahead and throw stuff I want over here first and then kind of build around it afterwards. That's how I like to build. Just kind of throw the things in I might want and then take out the things I'm sure I don't. 
Alright, so blocks becomes blocked by creature, deals one damage to that creature. I don't know, that's actually interesting. So it's basically, it does three damage to any creature that it's blocking or talking. So, I mean, we're, we're going to use it. This guy is pretty good as well. Uh, so if we, especially if we bring up into our inescapable blaze, that can be a massive finisher for us there. So I like him. He's a great uh, just body as well. Honestly, blocking, having a, a wall isn't too bad, a 0-8 wall. Uh, deals damage equal to his to target player. Okay, yeah, I like Gravatic Punch. That's actually pretty good with the Cyclops as well. That actually would be a pretty fun deck, is if you could like use a bunch of these, kind of a ramping spell with Erratic Cyclops with gra Gravatic Punch. We might have to do that, because that looks pretty fun. All right, uh, can't and can't block. Hmm, I'm not sure I like that. I mean, if we're going aggressive, it helps with mentor to make sure our mentor guys actually get off on stuff. Or so, and a target creature gets in haste until end of turn. Um, yeah, we'll throw it in. All right, let's check out. Make sure we don't want any. Did we really even have any spells? Um, Dazzling lights isn't terrible. I mean, we really just have a really strong red. Which I am all about that. Here's a good mentor guy. Healer's Hawk is fantastic. This guy isn't bad either. Decent one drop. Alright, so destroy target. <laughs> Legendary permanent. Yeah, that's definitely going in for sure. Alright, and so if you attack, you may pay two. If you do, it gains flying until end of turn. So that's not bad either. That's some... Oh man, we, we have... Especially with mentor. If we get mentor abilities onto those guys, not bad either. Sworn Companions isn't bad. Uh, let's see here. Target hacking creature gains flaying. Oh yeah, so this is like our our Pegasus guy. Yep, that's definitely going in. Uh, three two in vigilance. Um, we're gonna throw one in of these kind of like vigil. I'm thinking we want to kind of stay closer to the ground, just like low flying vigilance and mentor. So we're gonna throw it in. I'm not sure if we'll actually use it. Convoke. Uh, that I mean, we could play this guy maybe I, I i'm going to throw it in as a possibility put on each of up to two target creatures here we're going to go throw it go ahead and throw it in see what else we got so we're at 47 now we got to cut quite a bit of stuff i'm liking what we have double check make sure we don't want anything else here um really don't have a lot of instants and sorcery spells so going into the is it for what we were hoping for it isn't a great way to go i don't think um we do have we can search our library for something there. We can switch power and toughness of each of two target creatures. So I, I do like the invert just as a possible like uh, buff removal type of thing. Uh, Sonic Salt isn't too shabby. Um, I mean, that actually could be pretty good. Two damage. It's pretty aggressive because then we can get in with some more stuff. We have some stuff for the, for the colors we want there. And hmm... Gateway Plaza, whenever a uh, gateway... Okay. Add one of any color, so that's not bad either. I'm not sure I love it for how aggressive we're wanting to be. Uh, I don't love that either, because there's a chance we don't actually even get anything. It does It does have Vigilance and Menace, though. So two mana, three spin. Yeah, no, actually, I don't want that. Um, I, th I think we're pretty good on how we want it now. So these are those are all the cards I'm wanting to include. Uh, we have another one of those if we want it, but I don't think we do. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and jump now into this side of things. So um, we're going to go ahead and take out, I think, the flower to f flower flourish. I'm not too worried about getting up to, like, our curve is pretty good here. Uh, a lot of lower stuff. We're probably going to be around, like, 16. I could see us maybe going to 15, taking out this uh, mana, because really we only have three cards up at five so I, I will probably stay at 16 I think it's giving us 17 lands right now yeah 17 lands um, we are going to take out the island here no reason for an island that'll set us up pretty well all right so now let's start taking out some stuff I love this uh, mentor that's pretty good I actually like that a lot just uh, I mean I wish he was a two mana version but just a way to give more stuff uh, damage, especially with our Skyline Scouts. I think that's really, really good. Just getting in for three points of damage with those guys. Um, let's see here. I'm not positive I want that anymore. It's a good one, but it's not great. Do I actually have enough removal? 
I might need to double check that. I might need to splash in for some better removal. And we're kind of going just really fast, aggressive, and <laughs> trying to like get through their removal. We don't have a ton of it from what I saw, really. Um, this guy, I mean, it's okay if we're trying to stay... I mean, really, what's what's great about this guy is that it works really well with our mentor abilities. Um, I'm not sure we actually care about this. Maximize velocity. It's good, but it's not amazing. Uh, these guys can give give haste for that. So I actually, I'm fine keeping two of the torch couriers, having a good uh, early turn. We're going to take out Gerd for battle as well. Um, I, might, I could work that with the uh, Cyclops, but I think Cyclops is mostly... We're, we're kind of going to have him just as a big body with the chance to do some big cool things, but not really expect it. Um, let's see here. Min some more Mentor stuff. It's hard to have them with Mentor without more... I mean, I guess if we put Auras on it. Aurelia also helps with Mentor as well. Alrighty. I'm really interested to see how well this mentor stuff goes, uh, especially with some decent creatures like this. So hopefully we run into gates, because we have two gates. Ooh, two different uh, land, uh, arts for those two. Those look awesome. Liking it. All right. Inexplicable Blaze. We need to get up four more cards. Let's see. What, what have we got? Anything we have extras of? We could uh, go down on these guys, but I love the haste ability. If ever we get up to five mana first, that's just so powerful. Um... We might actually just take out the invert. Like the ability isn't that great. Uh, flying, yeah, I like the life link. Uh, so there, there's our like one removal spell. <laughs> uh, we we're really light on removal. Bounty agent isn't bad. I think that we're just gonna go. Yeah, so we're gonna take out fire urchin as well. I don't like that too much for us. Manacle rage isn't fantastic. That might need to go, but I, I like the aggression of it as well, though. So, hmm. So I, the one thing I like about the Ornery Goblin is that he can't really be uh, blocked by anything with one um, toughness. And so that's pretty cool. That's the only reason I, I like this guy. Uh, he's decent with Mentor. He might be the person the one I cut, though. Yeah, I'm thinking that we do, actually. Yep, that's good. Um, yeah, let's go out Sworn Companions and let's go down the Ornery Goblin. I think that's actually pretty good. Make sure... The Guardian here... I mean, another way to kind of fill up the board when we need to, just like early game, isn't bad. Maybe I do go down that and bring back in something else here. Is there any other removal? Is going with a locket for another another color worthwhile? Maybe flower? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's go ahead and keep the Ornery Goblin in. I want to be pretty creature heavy. This is the way I like to play. I'm, I'm a very creature heavy type of player when it comes to uh, sealed. So uh, I know we're spending quite a bit of time here. So let's go ahead and leave it like this. And let's go ahead and get into it. Sealed deck and play number one. All right, so here we are in Arena Standard. Well, not Standard. We are playing <laughs> Sealed, Limited, and uh, playing Guilds of Ravnica. And this looks pretty good. Uh, no tr no early drops, actually. That might not be very good. Um, we have, like, everything expensive right now. So there's a, there's a really good chance we draw into our lower-end stuff. So I'm, I'm going to keep this. It's pretty risky, but... In limited, you usually have a little bit more time to build up. We, we're kind of playing against what our play style is supposed to be for this deck, but my first game, I kind of like to try it out, see how it goes. And having more land isn't terrible. Playing against Golgari, which I know is pretty strong. Okay, we have to discard a card. Definitely not land, so we actually just will probably get rid of this. Yeah, we'll get rid of the the blaze. I'm not sure that's the greatest way to go, but that's what we got. All right, and we will pass the turn. 
integrity's not bad. A little buff swell. Man, we really need a John to land now. Yep, so a vigilant creature coming down. I'm gonna swing in for one. That's to my turn. Alright, so we gotta recruit some first strike in this right here. So we'll bring this guy down. And then uh, we have integrity to um, yeah, so we're gonna pass the turn. That way we can make him strong enough. He will actually die to the Oh, copy. Uh-oh, guys, we might be in trouble. We needed to land there. Really needed to land there. Grabatic punch is fun. I really like Grabatic punch with uh, Erratic Cyclops. That's really fun. If we ever get to four mana or eight mana, that could be a blast. Yep, swinging in. And we do have a first striker, so this really doesn't help much here. We're going to go ahead and block, and we're just going to go ahead and trade up here, I think. Even though he does have first strike, I think we are we need to just be doing whatever we can. Land, all right, perfect. We got to land. All right, so now um, let's go ahead and bring out our flyer. We'll probably take one swing in there just to keep him alive, because I, I do want to keep him around if possible. So if we draw into land, that'll be pretty good. Even Mentor coming down with it will be pretty awesome. It does have Vigilance, so we'll see what happens here. All right. Wild Ceratok. All right, opponent's swinging in. This doesn't have death touch, right? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and block here. Take the three. All right, I was hoping for land. No land. All right, so, I mean, we can use integrity to keep him alive as well. Um, so we'll probably do that. We're going to go ahead and play down our blade instructor. Go to combat, attack, and swing in. and pass the turn and this way we can block with integrity now and that's not bad not bad we might actually block the ceratoc with it alright opponent what you got what you got swinging in I'm guessing they swing with both. Yep, that's what I was guessing. So now we will block. We're going to go ahead and block here. One blocker. We'll take three damage. Cast Integrity here. I mean, I guess I could have used the other side of it. Uh, that could have been just as good, but we're using our mana. They only have two cards now. I'm still not familiar enough with all of the commons and uncommons to know what to be worried about. Because, you know, we're, I know all the rares and what I'm worried about there, but they're only going to have, like, one of those. Or, yep, yeah, they, they definitely have enough, though. All right, so if you would draw a card and still look at the top three cards of your library, put one into your hand and the rest into the graveyard. That is so powerful. You can pay for life, and he gains indestructible. So, yep, not too shabby at all at all. Alright, so we're going to play this down. We're going to go ahead and check out how good this mentor ability is now. So we're going to go ahead and throw down Barging Sergeant. Sergeant. Uh, we're going to be able to get quite a few counters onto this patrol. So that should be good. Alright, we're going to go ahead and swing all in. Um, this guy has Vigilance, so we'll make him pretty strong. I'm going to put all the counters here. He can become indestructible, but he's losing life to do so. And so as long as we have a blocker that gets bigger and bigger each turn, we're going to be in great shape. Alright, opponent. Come on, opponent. I 
I like the noises this makes. That's awesome. All right, so let's see how this mentor ability looks now. So we're going to give... Oh, does it have to be less than? So I wish that they all triggered at the same time. So I think actually I have to give it here. Oh, no, I could have done it beforehand. Okay, I wasn't sure. All right, uh, <laughs> I, that was a punt on my part. He's going to block uh, probably the Blade Instructor. Yep, gains indestructible and taps himself. <laughs> he didn't block first. The opponent didn't block. Yep, oops, sorry, opponent. Down to three. Oh my goodness, I, I feel bad for the opponent there. <laughs> that is no fun. Uh, but yeah, we have the game with Galvatic Punch now. Uh, so we're, we're in great shape. We're going to go ahead and fire that off right away next turn. Discovery. Yep, yep, yep. I do love all the stuff they're bringing back with this. It is awesome. I, I'm i really excited with Guilds of Ravnica. Uh, it's a bummer with the ones that are leaving standard because some things would work so well together, but uh, I'm still I'm just really happy with the way, the way that this is turning out to be. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, fun stuff. Got to put a counter on something. So they can swing in for eight. Um, all right, so they're out of cards. So we know we have them with the Galvatic Punch, so I might be willing to block here just in case. I mean, we should be just fine. There's no issues here. All the graveyard synergies are amazing. He's actually close to milling himself out. All right, uh, play another gate, why not? And then Galvatic Punch. So target creature I control, this guy to you. Good game, all right. Whew, that was fun. <laughs> I really like the Galvatic Punch. That is a good card, especially in this limited format. I actually, uh, we're going to be doing some fun stuff with that. I can tell you that. All right, so, yep, let's go to the next game. <laughs> oh, man, I love Sealed. It is so fun. So, so fun. All right, let's go. Ready? K. Rarls. Is that like Ray Charles is what it's supposed to be? <laughs> awesome. All right, red. Nothing else that's red. This one, we're going to have to mulligan. All right, all of our lands we want. Not great. Pretty great. That actually could go pretty well, just to have a good flyer. Uh, we are on the play. So two Boros gates into stuff. We are going to keep this. We'll see what we mulligan into. Uh, planes to the bottom for certainly. We built a pretty aggressive deck, but we were keeping not very aggressive hands. But luckily, last one turned out all right. We'll see if this one will as well. Definitely don't like mulliganing in sealed formats. Not the best way to go. Okay, he scribed to the bottom as well. So we're kind of playing on an even playing field here. All right, good. So I can still play a tap land and get in with a hasty creature. Swing in. Pass the turn. And then we'll definitely get the rock charger in right away next turn. I want to be able to start swinging in for, for damage. All right, this guy can become a 4-4. Uh, four, four. All right, so play that, play the charger, and pass the turn. Might as well keep our small guys, especially because we're playing the mentor deck. Like typically, um, I mean, sometimes it's worth swinging in, not that point, but let's see what he does. Yeah, passes the turn. My turn. All right, do we get anything awesome? So Cyclops, uh, it's only instant and sorcery, so I'm not really worried about getting that on just yet. Let's go ahead with uh, Maniacal Rage. I want to get that this guy a little bit more safety. I'm not sure if there's anything like Rabid Bites or anything like that. We won't be able to block with him. Uh, maybe I should have done it with a Torch Courier instead. But just so we had a flying blocker. But we're going to go to combat. Be aggressive here. Yep, two attackers. We're going to make this guy fly.
Hit in for four, bring him down to 15. Yep, damage. Is there a button that like lets you press this button on your keyboard? I would love to know about that. I've tried spacebar. Maybe I just didn't actually try it at the right time. I don't know. But I don't like having to click it every single time. Alright, opponent's getting some in with some damage. A 5-5. Five, five. It's only till end of turn. Alright, so he is going to prey upon here. Yep, we'll let that resolve. Good job, opponent. Okay, he should swing in now. Yep, go ahead. My turn. Alright, that's not bad. We're going to go ahead and just play the Cyclops, create a good blocker, and swing in. Holding onto this guy because it's more likely we'll be able to play him with uh, something else than this guy. Ooh, Amara. Alright, Amara is cool. Luckily, let's see if they have any Convoke. That's the main awesome way to... Be getting stuff, getting creatures for them. Alright, we're going to hold on to the planes. Go ahead and play Fresh Faced Recruit. Not loving how we're looking right now, but we will, will be able to swing in with a First Striker. So we're going to go ahead and pass turn. They're also going to be able to block the 4-4. Four four. Yeah, I'm not so sure I love the Erratic Cyclops there. I, we probably shouldn't have kept him. It's just such a fun card. I really want to build some fun things around this card soon. Because, <laughs> like, an Apex of Power deck with Eretic Cyclops would be awesome. There's the the one thing where you can, like, uh, play an Instant of Sorcery for free. Oh, man, there's some fun things we can do. All right, so they're going to fight. They both die. That's okay. He's going to be able to swing in now and create a 1-1 each turn. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and block. Oh, whoa, what the? Does this have death touch? Oh, I forgot that that gave it death touch. I That is very much my bad, guys. All right, Barging Sergeant. This will help us out a lot. Go ahead and go to combat, attack in. Oh man, I really... That gives it death touch as well. Man. Good. I actually want them to be blocking. I don't want them to be getting a wider board. Unless they have a pump spell. They do. Alright, that's fine. Pass the turn. Man. We're really not drawing very well on this one either. We're going to have to see if we can pull it out. Lurcher, alright. So comes in. Attacks. Yep, we'll swing in. Resolves. Creates some more life linkers. Passes to my turn. This guy gets a counter for each creature card that's in the graveyard. That's not bad at all. Boros Challenger is not bad either. We will play this down so we can activate his ability. And pass the turn. That way we can kill the Lurcher or Amara. We can also make the Torch Courier up to 3-3. Three, three. I do like the Mentor ability. Now, whenever this creature attacks, put a plus one plus encounter on target attacking creature with lesser power. So I'm wondering if they all trigger at the same time. I'm guessing that that still works. Alright, this is going to give her menace. Oh man. We'll be able to swing in. Well actually no, we'll be able to block it. Alright, passing to my turn. Healer's Hawk's not bad. Not amazing here. 
All right, they can kill our guy pretty easily, so we're going to pass the turn. And just hope that we draw into something worthwhile here. All right, that's not bad at all. Parthian... All right, so this will be pretty good now. So we're going to go to combat. We're going to attack in with the Healer's Hawk. Pass the turn. We don't have the mana to help this guy out anymore. Ooh, Aurelia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, yep, really it comes down. Alright, and so, should I make her hasty as well? I think so. I think that, so target creature becomes hasty. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice that guy. We're gonna make Aurelia better. Swing in, swing in, swing in. Three attackers. Alright, we are gonna put a counter on... Healer's Hawk. And Healer's Hawk, yeah. So they both come in, so it, should, it becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Now next turn, I can uh, put this on this guy and make Aurelia bigger with a Mentor ability. Uh, so, I mean, I guess I should have done that er earlier, but man, Aurelia is so powerful. So, so awesome. All right, that was good. That was good. I definitely didn't think we are going to pull that one off, but we drew into what we needed. Yep, yep, yep. All right, we got some wins. Not too shabby at all. So my first like real competitive format I've ever playing was sealed. And so I I just love sealed. Um, and the very first time I played, yeah, we're definitely going to keep this. This is fantastic. Uh, but yeah, the very first time that I played sealed. Uh, I played. Oh, what am I trying to say? The very first time I played sealed, I won. Uh, the, I won the tournament, and so I just I love it. It's so fun. I actually really like this torch carrier as well. I think that that's going to be good. An extra one mana hasty goblin will be pretty powerful. It's not as good as firebrand, of course, but uh, you know, one mana hasty goblin. If that's what you're trying to do. All right, the direct current. So that is another piece of removal that we have. Not amazing, not bad. All right, we're going to go ahead and get down the challenger. Make sure we start mentoring up some peoples here. All right, and we want land. Definitely want land next turn. So Maniacal Rage is pretty good, making sure our challenger keeps being able to do mentor on people. I'm wondering if that's worthwhile... All together. Yeah, Lava Coil does four damage. Alright. It would have kept him out of that range too, so a little too late for it. It's to any target. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and play our first striker. We'll save hold on to a flyer for the later games. Pass the turn. I'm really excited for a soldier's deck as well. There's some human soldiers, some fun things we can do here. Drake comes down, a 1-3, uh huh? All right, resolve. All right, we're going to put the Maniacal range, Rage on the recruit here. Ooh, all right, so target creature gets more. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go ahead and put this here. Go to combat. And then I'm going to like act like, oops, oh no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to. He's going to block it. And then I'm going to kill his guy. Yep, this guy has first strike. We are going to play integrity on our torch courier. Killer guy. And yeah, pass the turn. All right, so we brought them down to 13. Have a pretty decent board here now. And uh, Candlelight Vigil will be pretty good as well. We do know that they have some removal. So if we can get them out of the removal range with the First Striker, it's going to be really hard for them to deal with. 
So please don't kill it. They kill it. Okay, there is removal at five mana, five damage. Not bad, not bad. All right, so I think that we're going to go ahead and just go for this. I want to get in some damage while I can right now. So, and they just really used up removal. So I'm hoping that we can get in quite a bit of damage here. Has vis vigilance as well, so we have a blocker. Not bad at all. Ooh, Niv is it? Huh? That is interesting. All right, so Boros Guild Gate. Is it worth just killing him now? We do have the jump start ability as well. There is the first strike ability thing in this game as well, so we're going to go ahead and go for it. We're going to see if he blocks. I'm guessing his whole deck is kind of built around this guy. This is kind of risky for us as well. Um, yeah, I I'm fine if he blocks it or doesn't. So, yep, damage. And then we're going to go ahead and direct current. Oh, he does get a draw and does damage. Oh, man, that's so powerful. But I definitely don't want that on the battlefield at all. Alright, so we can bring this back. We'd have to discard a card. If we draw into too many lands later on, we have one thing at six mana. Ooh, Aurelia. Alright. Um, oh man, what a... <laughs> this guy is playing well. Uh, I think he was just waiting for the planes there. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, so... Rock Charger. Skyland Scout. So we can do three damage each turn. He can do four. Can bring back two more points of damage. So I think we're still in okay shape as long as he's swinging in. Oh, he will have Vigilance though as well. So powerful. I'm not sure we have an answer for this, guys. <laughs> Direct Current doesn't do it. Oh, man. It's good to see people playing niv -Mizzet, even in Limited, where you think it would be really hard to cast, but, I mean, he got it off on turn turn 6, and then played on Aurelia the next turn. Like, that, that means you're doing it well. So, not too shabby at all. I think that getting rid of him as soon as possible, no matter what it takes, is worthwhile, though, because, I mean, whenever a player casts a spell, you draw, like, or I guess instant sorcery, but still, that is just insane. All right, going to be able to draw some more cards. Cosmic Wave does one to everything. And then we can't block, I believe. Creatures can't block this turn. Yep has Vigilance. We're going to draw, I think, maybe one or two turns just to see what we can draw into, but we've pretty much already lost this game. I mean, we can get our own Aurelia, which I guess helps us out. Planes doesn't do it. We're, we're going to pass the turn. Uh, if we draw into our own Aurelia, then we, we have a chance. Otherwise, yeah. Not so sure about it. Yep, swings in. No blockers. Got a Drake there. All right. That's pretty good, actually. I, I like this. So when he enters, draws a card. Oh, Boros Gate. So, I mean, I technically we have one more turn still that we can do stuff with. I uh, probably should have gone ahead and used that, but well, we'll pass the turn. Yep, he's going to draw some cards. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know about this one, guys. I mean, we have ways out still, and so that's the only reason I'm still playing is that we have, all right, maybe not too many more ways out anymore. 
The nice thing is that Aurelia isn't a great defender, and so, uh, well, I guess it's a great defender, but it just won't kill our stuff. So, like, we can, uh, before this guy, we could swing in and just keep trading counters on him, but I'm not sure we can do that anymore. Yep, yeah, just going to swing in, of course. He has Mentor, so he's going to put a counter here. Yep. We'll block it for this turn. And do we have a chance now? I think we have to draw Aurelia. Alright, so land doesn't do it, so we're going to go ahead and concede. Good game, opponent. Oh, man. Bummer. Alright, here we go. Let's go again. That was one loss. And we're getting three packs out of this no matter what. So I did have a ton of packs, so I'll probably just push those off to the next video either way here. Alright, we have decent early game. Boros Guildgate. We're going to keep this for sure. I think that we still go with the Guildgate, even though we have a hasty creature. I think that I'd rather... I guess we do have two two drops though that aren't too bad. So let's go ahead. Although one is white, so yeah. Guildgate go. Pass the turn. I'm I'm interested to see if more gate stuff comes out in the next one. I, of course they will bring it out, but like some stuff that actually correlates with it, because I didn't love what they had so far. It wasn't too too spectacular. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get out the goblin. Torch Courier can be fun to play with something that we need to give haste to. Notion Rain, alright. Does two damage to them, they get to draw cards. Put the Guild Gate in. Alright, so now we will go ahead and play Courier. And Fresh Faced, faced Recruit. Go to combat. Pass the turn. Alright, so we're building up a decent board here. Let's hope... I don't think there's any, like, board clears right now. This resolves. He's going to give himself nothing. Yep, yep, yep. Does have menace. My turn. Alright, so now we will go ahead and play planes. Let's go ahead and get the mentored uh, creature down sooner than later. We're going to swing in, go to combat, and attack in with the goblin. So if it becomes blocked, it does do damage to it. So, all right, we're going to let it through. Pass the turn. Yeah, so I'm, I'm glad we kept this guy. It's exactly for this type of reason. There's a lot of, like, 2-3, the Boros Challenger, a couple other ones. Yeah, we'll let this resolve. And I think we discard land. We are, we're pretty... <sighs> pretty cheap deck and we're still running 16 lands blood operative all right a 3-1 with lifelink exile creature card from all right yep exiling our stuff that's cool and whenever you surveil um if he's in the graveyard you can gain three life and return it to your hand not shabby not too shabby All right, so this guy's great here. Um, ooh, another mentor creature is not bad either. Let's go ahead and get down the rock charger. Um, go to combat and attack in with this guy, this guy, and this guy now. So three attackers. Um, whoa. Oh, dang it. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Oh, that's fine. My bad, guys. Again. Oh, man. I keep forgetting it has to be greater. I'm thinking that three would work as well, but it doesn't. Okay, we're going to go for the rock. Oh, man. We're going to go for the rock charger. And pass the turn. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Bad playing on my part, guys. Ooh. Alright. So they can't destroy this guy. They can destroy the charger. 
Yep, that resolves. We will be able to kill the Vraska right away as a defender. Resolve. Gets to surveil. I do like this Vraska. It's not bad at all. Alrighty. Alright, so mountain is not bad either. We're going to go ahead and, let's see, do we want to give Mentor Haste? That way we can pump up. Hmm. We're going to hold on to him. So we're going to go to combat and attack in here. And with the goblin here. I'm totally fine trading him with anybody. Yep, so he'll block. Do one damage there, and then they'll trade. And end. Alright, and so now we have... We can swing in and make some guys bigger. This guy has Vigilance, so go to my turn. Um, we're going to go to combat and attack in... I think we attack in with everything. They can kill the Blade Instructor with a rat, but I think that getting... Oh, come on! Yep, so resolves. Tapping this guy, killing that guy. No attackers now. In the turn. That's not too shabby at all. Alright, another torch carrier. So... Which... I, with the way that their defense is, we're going to go ahead and go swing in here all out. So let's go ahead and bring him down. Go to combat and attack in. We're going to go ahead and create a 3-3 Vigilant creature. I think that that is going to be better right now. Yep, they'll kill him, kill him. Block one. I guess putting it on this guy would have kept it better. Alright, another <laughs> worm. Uh, I think I played that definitely wrong there. Gives him 9-7 in Vigilance. Guess Defender wouldn't use it. Oh man, give us something good. Alright, pass the turn. They have a 6-4. Yeah, we... I definitely messed up. Uh, he had removal for at the right times. And I, I have just been misplaying my attacks. Convoking. Tapping down his staff. 7-5 hexproof. That is, uh, that's scary. We're hoping for an Aurelia again. Man. We are only running 16 lands on this deck. But... Man, oh man. I think that we're actually just done for here. Alrighty, because it's 6-2. I don't know why you put it on him. But yeah, I think uh, I think at this point we're we're pretty much done for. So yep. We we will we'll no say no blockers. We're gonna let them hit us in and kill us probably here. We'll go to my turn. I just wanna see what we draw into. Planes again, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and concede. Good game. Opponent had everything, and we definitely messed up our play style. The one thing, though, is like we did have to try to be more aggressive to try to beat that, because, I mean, if we ran into that stuff, we didn't have a chance anyway. All right, so we at least get 600 gems back. We're pretty close to it, so we need to win a couple more to get our, <laughs> our value back, but uh, three packs isn't bad either. I do like this sealed format they're doing for it. That is pretty good. Drink water. 
All right. I'll, I'll try my best. All right. So here we are in a sealed uh, arena, I guess. All right. And we're going to mulligan that. That's pretty good. All right. We'll keep this. We'll keep, we're going first. Um, mm. All of our flyers. I think we're going to keep it on top. Can't use it, but I like the mentor ability. And if we get this going, this can be pretty unstoppable. So healer's hawk, go. We'll keep the integrity just to uh, protect any of our stuff. I want to use its second ability as well. All right, play mountain. Go to combat. Pass the turn. Child of Night. All righty. Luckily, this guy blocks Child of Night just fine. You'll swing in, pass the turn. And we did draw into our plane, so the Parhelion Patron. Parhelion Patron will be coming in next turn. That's a big bird. Alrighty. Got some reach coming in now, unfortunately. So we're going to go ahead and play Parhelion. So no attackers, because they can just block it. So no attackers now. Next turn we can start swinging in safely. We'll have to just give Hiller's Hawk some stuff. And then we should be just fine. Be able to kill the guy with the integrity. Uh-oh. I don't like whenever they're targeting our stuff. They're looking at it, highlighting. I know they're going to kill it. All right, lock it. Not too bad. We have two mana still. And a death toucher. All right, perfect. Not a flyer. We like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and throw down our guild gate now. We're going to go to combat and attack in with all three attackers. We are going to put it onto the healer's hawk. Now we're hoping he blocks... Um... We're hoping he blocks the hawk, I guess. Oh, good, he did. How about that? All right, so now... I mean, we gain life back either way, so this actually helps us out with the healer's hawk putting more there. I guess I guess we could have gained three more life, so that, that was a mistake. Because I had the mana to do it, I could have done the three damage and gain one more point of life. Uh, but this way, we it shows that we have more more up. But yeah, so we're, we're in pretty good shape now. We are looking for Aurelia. That would be amazing. Ooh, Deadly Fist destroying him. All right, all right. That's fine. So now we're actually kind of even on board. If they keep swinging in, it, it, we're locking the game right now. They're gaining two, we're gaining two, doing three each. So, uh, But we can just start blocking with a rock charger and be able to do pretty well. Yep, swings in with Child of Night. Hired Poisoner. They gain some life. Fresh Faced Recruit. Go to combat. We're going to swing in with just the healer's hawk. I want to be able to block the child of night if he swings in past the turn. I like the new music. That was a really good song right there. So yeah, tell me down in the comments below what you guys think of the new Guilds of Ravnica, everything they've done different with Arena. Um, I am pretty pleased with everything here. It's been pretty fun. The troll is bad. 
Okay, we can swing in for five each turn. That guy can get pretty big. Oh, man. Yep, just gonna swing in. No blockers. Go down to 24. Gaining life helps a ton, especially... So we're gonna go ahead and play... We're gonna hold on to the planes. We're gonna put this on our life linker, for sure. Make him vigilant as well. And then we're gonna go to combat and all attack. Bring him down to seven and pass the turn. All right, that was a fantastic draw there. That was really good. All right, so a 5-4 that can block some of these guys. Only one card in hand. They can make him bigger, but we're gaining so much life now. This is this is really good. Drawing some cards. See if they found removal spell. If not, we have them next turn. Iron Shell Beetle. Gets a counter. On the Child of Night. Okay. So he will swing in with him. Um, ooh. Okay, we're going to go ahead and block. I'm not sure what pump spells there are at one. I think that he just had to do that to keep himself alive. Um, but yeah, this guy... I think that giving us two points helps us win. I think it's exactly what we needed. Yep, so Maniacal Rage. Go ahead and put it on this guy. Go to combat. An all-out attack. Three attackers. And we have exactly lethal. All right, man. Whew. Glad that worked out. That was pretty good. Well... We're staying alive. We'll see if we can keep it up. Got a pack and jungle creeper. Cre cards we don't actually have anymore, so that's awesome. We'll play. Got quite a few gems back as well, so I feel like we're gaining our value back here by playing for sure. Como? Hey, it's Como Kazi and Como. All right, kind of a slow deck again. Uh, we will keep this, though, just because I know we have cheap stuff to draw into. I, I hate mulliganing any time um, when I'm playing limited. If you can play the, play the hand and it's not just, like, absolutely terrible, I say it's typically worth keeping. All right, Fire Urchin. Looks like a pretty similar deck to ours. All right, unfortunately we can't play the gate next turn. All right, so Rock Charger, go. Pass the turn. Trample and gets plus one, plus O. Oh. Mentor, all right, that's pretty good. All right, so Guild Gate, Torch Courier. Oh, crud. Oh, well. So we're going to go to combat and attack in with the flyer. I guess we might as well leave him back to block. Yeah, so no reason to do that. So pass the turn. Candlelight Vigil can be pretty good here for a flyer. I, I just like having a big flyer. And Inescapable Blaze can be great. Double Strike, Vigilance, and Trample. 1-1, one, one, though. With the Mentor ability... Not too shabby. Okay, Boros Challenger is pretty good here. 
So let's see here. What do we want to do? Candlelight Vigil. I think that we definitely go Challenger now. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to put down Challenger. So this guy makes him so we can't block. So I think that we're just going to go ahead and throw this onto our rock and just start swinging in. Just make a, a pretty big flyer. So go to combat, attack. So they can be swinging in with this guy. He can't attack alone, though. So we're going to be able to kill something. Well, I guess we won't be able to kill it now, but... Um, oh, come on. Yep, that resolves. With toughness, four or greater. Oh my goodness, this is good. Yeah, so we're going to be taking it. Pass to my turn. So we could give this guy, make him a pretty big creature, a 5-5. Five five. That way we can make sure we're blocking consistently. I'm not sure if they're going to have another removal spell like that. Um, I think that's our best way to just kind of keep ourselves alive here. So let's go ahead and put down Catalyst Vigil on the challenger and I think that we he does have vigilance now so we're gonna go to combat and attack with both putting a counter there so I mean if he wants to trade here we're fine with that all right letting it through pass the turn does have vigilance Bodyguard comes down. Swings in with all of these guys. See where the counter is going on. Yep, that'll resolve. All right, so my guess is that he has an ability here. So we're going to go to blockers. If he has integrity here, um, give him plus two, plus two. We die to any of these guys, so... Let's go ahead and kill the double striker then. We're going to take five. I don't want this guy to get too much bigger. Ooh, sure strike. Yeah, so we were dead to no matter which guy we blocked there. He does have trample as well. That is good. I like this guy a lot. There's some fun things you can do with this. Yeah, past to my turn, and I think that this might be it, guys. We have the Sergeant. That guy won't be able to do much against the Mentor ability. This guy will die to him. With Trample, I think we're just in trouble. So, yep, play that, and we're just going to go ahead and concede. Good game. All right, so that was it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see uh, what we get here for a reward. Uh, but yeah, so 12, or 1,200 gems, three packs. We'll claim the prize. Not bad at all. And let's go ahead and go into our packs and see if we can open up a few here. Sure and assemble. Got some wild cards. That's pretty good. I do like the sure and assemble. This is pretty good. So pretty. Uh, a counter on to target creature and, and it becomes indestructible and then you can create some you know get a massive board as well let's go for one more another dream eater so we got him already before and we'll just open up the three that we got all right and bounty of might that's this is a pretty interesting card i'm interested to see how well it works that can be really powerful. Nine nine power for six mana. All right, we did open up one during the time. So Blood Operative, we saw this guy come down earlier. I like it. It's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, whenever you surveil, you can bring it back uh, to your hand. And oh, yeah, you can pay three life to do so. But it has a lifelink. It returns itself. 
anyway, uh, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. I will be coming back to do uh, these, uh, all these packs here in just a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to film it like right now, but uh, you guys will probably see it in the next video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.